Kenya Deputy President on Wednesday demanded that National Intelligence Service Director General Noor Audin Haji step down from his position to pave the way for a more competent Director General. Addressing the press in Mombasa, a seemingly agitated DP blamed the NIS for the current anti-government protests which he said have led to deaths and destruction. Despite President William Ruto making a last-minute turn and pronouncing himself on the matter that he would not assent the controversial Finance Bill 2024 which resulted in countrywide demos, the DP says that the NIS failed in its mandate to inform the head of state of the situation on the ground before the citizens took to the streets, while terming the last-minute decision by President Ruto to recall the bill embarrassing to the Kenya Kwanzaa government, the DP asserted that if Haji had done his job well and ensured the president and his administration were well aware of the public's position on the bill, no one would have died. Ruto deserves better, he deserves a DG who knows what he is doing, who is effective and can analyze situations to keep the government informed, said Gakagua. The DP argues that Haji's incompetence stems from bungled circumstances surrounding his appointment to the state agency. According to the deputy president, when Haji assumed the position of DG at NIS, he suffered an inferiority complex since he was once a junior officer at the same institution before he was promoted to his previous role as the director of public prosecution. The DP revealed that when Haji took over as NIS DG, he could not work with the already existing bosses since he had served under them, and thus he had to remove them from other state departments. As a result, the DP says the intelligence body was stripped of competent individuals as other junior officers assumed high-ranking positions. The second-in-command further accused Haji of undertaking frequent travels across the globe which led him to lose his touch and grasp with the people and affairs of the nation and was thus unable to advise the president effectively. The DP consequently implored his boss to act accordingly and restore the three senior NIS directors dismissed together with the other 13 assistant directors in order to ensure the institution carries out its mandate effectively. He also tasked the NIS boss to take responsibility for the lives of Kenyans lost in demos and the property lost countrywide.